Tom Brady won a big battle Thursday in the deflate gate controversy when a federal judge overturned his four game suspension. But the NFL says it does plan to file an appeal, and so its war with the Players Association drags on. Joining us now from Philadelphia is Kenneth Shropshire, Wharton professor and director of Wharton Sports Business Initiative. Uh, Ken, the NFL may eventually win in court, but obviously this whole saga has sort of muddied their reputation. Does it actually make business sense for them to keep dragging this out? Well, you're right. It's not, it's not a good look at all. It, business sense, maybe not. But in terms of uh, labor management relations, I mean, this, this is, you have to remember, this is an ongoing uh, relationship between management and labor. And part of what the, the, the league is saying is uh, we're not going to let you just do what you want to do, union and we're going to, going to assert our authority where we think we have it. So, so that's part of what the time in court is all about. So the judge's ruling is a win for the players' union. I believe the next collective bargaining process is until 2021. How can the union leverage this victory? Well, you know, part of what the union has gotten here is, is a judge saying, league, you have to abide by your own rule. You have to, you have to do what you've done in the past. And so what the court really looks at here is whether or not uh, there's a following of industrial tradition, the rules that the, the NFL has followed before. And you see this in labor law all the time. So the confidence the union had was that this was so unique. It's something that had not done be, been done before by the NFL, so they couldn't do it now. And that's really what this judge understood about labor law that wasn't really clear in the broader picture. So, so the union will be able to use that going forward to really press the league to more clearly define what rules apply in what given situations. What do you think is the fallout here for Roger Goodell? Is his job in jeopardy? I don't, I don't think so. I mean, I, I think it's really a moment where if the league does not get its house in order, and that is really in terms of being able to take these steps that they think they need to take. And the rules just are not clear enough, and they haven't followed the rules that are in place to deliver the sanctions that they've delivered in these past, I guess, five or so cases. So uh, the, the, the idea of him losing a job, I mean, here's a guy that's been making more money for the league than ever before. Here's a guy that has paid 40 or so million dollars uh, for the job that he did last year. So, so now I don't think his job is immediately in jeopardy, and I think there's a, a great moment for the NFL to take some steps forward. But again, this whole union management kind of uh, public aura is, is what's going to cause some delay in taking the steps they need to take. Why, why does it seem that the union, excuse me, that the league is so determined to diminish the, the union's leverage? Well, that, that, that's the relationship. I mean, every, even between collective bargaining sessions, there's bargaining that's going on, there's positioning that's going on. And, and part of what is going to be negotiated next time, clearly, uh, are, are, is more of this power that the commissioner has. So, in a sense, we're looking for where that line is. Uh, where do courts say the league can go in terms of delivering sanctions, uh, even when there's not agreement in the collective bargaining process? How absolute is the authority of the commissioner? So we're getting some definition there. So you can bet that these issues that have come up in terms of uh, how the commissioner's decisions are reviewed, yeah. what kinds of sanctions he can deliver, that's going to come up in the future. Ken, just very quickly, do you think the judge made the right decision? Well, you know, reading it carefully, the, the idea, this whole yeah. idea of, of how does the industry operate, I think that's really key.